Hey, hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see my node for the new GPT Image 1 from OpenAI. But before that, I think it's a good opportunity for me to tell you more about my image text generator nodes. It is a revolutionary way of prompting. Well, okay, let's call it a different way of prompting. Instead of using text, you can use nodes. You will see what I mean, it's very straightforward. So as example, I will use this flux Stell workflow just for speed. Here you can see I have a very low resolution for this testing video. But that should be more than enough. So we are here to speak about my image text generator nodes. The first thing you need to do is add my main node. In the end, this node is just going to write text, your prompt. So we can just take its output and send it directly to our clip text encode node. I will also add a show node so you can see the content of it. When you test it, uh, I recommend you to check only with its text output. You will understand its behavior better. Here I will connect it to an image generator workflow because I already know how it works. So you can see that the main node has just a few options. Like camera angle, I will put here touch angle. Shot type is going to be, let's put like a close up shot. And we don't care about the others for now. Let's keep it simple. Every node will have this custom section where you can put whatever you want inside. Here, I'm just gonna put the word cat and run that. Here you can see the text is very simple. Close up shot from Dutch angle cat. And we have this. Not bad, uh, the Schnell model was able to make what I wanted. So this node collection is made for flux, but it will probably also work very well with the new GPT image one from OpenAI. We are gonna see that at the end of the video. But this one is already pretty good for a local seven seconds generation. Let's organize a little better because it will get crowded here. And I still want you to be able to read, so. You can see that this node has three inputs. Style, character, and scene. I'm not going to show you everything here, but the scene is like the background or the location of the image. Like in the, on the beach, at the temple, or whatever, whatever else you want. They all work the same way. Here I'm going to show you style. And here by default, you can see that it is a Renaissance painting. And we will add a random color palette, random lightning type, random mood, and a random ambiance as well. So I run that. All of this randomness can make it a little messy, but we don't care, we are just testing here. And we have this, which is a pretty good image. But as you can see, it is not a Renaissance painting. So my image text generator worked properly there. But unfortunately, not all models can do everything. You need to remember that at the end, my node collection is just going to give you a text. It is your job to find a model that can understand this prompt. Here you can see the text that was used for this prompt. And the result is not that bad. But you are not supposed to manage the cat like that. Here I just put the word cat in custom prompt. But it is not what you should do when you are using this node collection. You should instead keep it separate and create a character node. I'm not going to put a cat, this time it is going to be a man, so I just connect this character male node. And I remove cat. You can give him a random ethnicity. But here, I am going to give him random nationality. An elderly man. And age will be 80. Let's add some random facial hair. 
So this one should be a close-up of an old man from Bangladesh with some moustache. And not too bad. But again, this model failed to create a Renaissance painting. It is just incapable of doing that. So we will just put photography and portrait instead. If you really want a Renaissance painting, you should change model. So let's run that again. This time, the man is supposed to be a Maori. Again, here we assume that the model know what a Maori person is. Which here is obviously not the case. You can connect to this character node an outfit node. Just connect an outfit node to give the character a specific outfit. Again, the goal is to keep everything separate. So you have a lot of cool stuff. Uh, here we will keep it simple. Let's give him a t-shirt and white collar. I will not put anything there. Uh, this is a black and white monochromatic, so let's run another one. I want to see the white t-shirt, so I need another image to confirm that it worked. At some point you can just stop looking at the prompt, just edit the nodes. And if you have an issue, just run again. And here we have the white t-shirt. So I will stack uh, its closes on top. This is just the layout to be easier to read. And I will also add a pose for him. This is like an action, a body position, or something like that. Here I'm just gonna put something simple, like a facial expression. Like this. Eyes wide open in shock. He should be from Oman. And that's Oman-ish, I guess. But still have white t-shirt and is shocked. So this Flux Schnell is really doing much better than expected. Other than the painting stuff. So you can add as many characters as you want to this picture. You can just connect the nodes one after the others. Let's add a female. You could also do a pose for her or whatever. Here I will make it simple, just keep body shape. But I will remove specifics. This image is supposed to be a close-up shot, so don't add details that shouldn't be in the close-up shot. If you ask for a close-up shot of a man with white shoes, the model is gonna get confused. Let's make it a young woman. 30 years old. Let's make her Asian. I will also change the man. He is going to be African. So we have one Asian woman and one Maldivian African man. Which is not a thing. And here you can see that the woman is on the left and the man is on the right. But you can change that if you want. First, I'm going to remove the nationality, because I put ethnicity already, so... We will put the man on the left. And the woman on the right. So this will work. But when you do that kind of stuff, I recommend to visually organize your characters. Here I will move the man character on the left, because he's on the left side of the image. So we will have to reconnect nodes differently. It will not change the prompt, but it will change the layout. And the layout is important for you to be able to edit everything. So if you want to find quickly the closes of the character on the left, then it's you know where to watch. And don't forget about the infinite loop there.
So here we have an old African man on the left and a young Asian woman on the right. Let's try that. Here it is working. Looking weird, but don't forget we still have random style in the style node. Now let, let's add another character in the middle. This time it will be a creature. So if you have a custom creature in mind, you can just type it in there. Like bug or, or whatever. Here I will not risk it, I will put something that Flux should understand, like a fairy. And let's make it tiny. You can give her some special abilities if you want to. And this fairy will be in the center of the image. So the fairy will be in between the old African man on the left and the young Asian woman on the right. And it is still working very well. Flux Schnell is very impressive for now. Let's make it fail. I lost my patience there. You can notice that inside the character node, you have a character number. Let's set it to two old men and two Asian women. But I will keep the single fairy in the middle. With, so, two person on each side. Uh, what do you think about that? Well, sorry, but that's not what I asked for. Let's try again. Damn, this time he nailed it. Another one? Ah, who is this guy in the middle holding a ferry? You are not part of the prompt, my good sir. Get out of there. So, yeah, I think it's time to move on from Flux Schnell Local. And I'm going to use my API node for Flux Pro Ultra. So this is API paid services. Just put your API key of Black Forest Lab in there. Connect prompt. Connect image. I will put my API key. Without extra spaces. That is already connected. I disabled my flux nodes. And we can run that. This API shouldn't take more than 50 seconds, so we can wait. You can see that the image resolution here is a lot larger. You have all the options you know and love about flux. But also the raw option, which will give you a more realistic picture. Maybe of a lesser quality, but more authentic. So Flux Ultra just nailed it. We really have everything we asked for. Let's add some more details to see what happens. Let's give magical power to the fairy. Maybe natural power. No, like, like let's put elemental power. Let's give the man a new haircut, messy, and a lavender color. The women are going to have buzz cut and blue hair. Let's add pale skin. I will keep the same clothes, but I will add a hand gesture for the old man. Let's put hands in front of face. All right, I think we're good. It's a little messy, but let's see what Flux Ultra can do. And that's 
almost it. The man doesn't have lavender hair on the left. But other than that, that's pretty good. Now we will see GPT image 1. So we are going to test it live. I have no idea what is going to happen here. So it just work all the same. Just put your API key in there. This is OpenAI API key, of course. And let's test the new guy. So this one is going to take a full minute. So I will be back when it's done. First try, so the fairy has indeed magical powers. GPT image 1 is way more interested about that. You can also notice that the fairy is the center of attention. Women are fine, but the man is shocked by the fairy. I never specified that in the prompt. You can check it up there. I didn't ask the man to even look at the fairy. But the model decided that it was why he was shocked. Which is impressive and shows some kind of understanding of the context here. But sadly, his hands are a little messed up. Let's try another one. Here, hands are better. Again, the model puts a lot of emphasis on the elemental power. Even the background is like super weird. While Flux looked more like a family picture. The only problem here is that one of the women doesn't have a basket. Let's try another one. And not bad. You can see that the word elemental gives a lot of flexibility of colors to the model. If you want something specific, you should use something like lightning power or poison power or something like that. It should guide the model towards the color you want. Again, the woman in the back doesn't have a buzz cut. And both women are sleeping for some reason. But that's about it. These images are 25 cents and you need to verify your account before being able to use the API. I did mine with my passports in just a few minutes. I think Confi UI released something where you can uh, make GPT image one requests. If I understood correctly, I think they make a cut, but they basically charge the same price. So definitely check into that as well. You should support Confi UI team instead if you can. I didn't check any of that yet. Because I wanted a node that where I can spend the few credits I have on OpenAI. I am not using any other OpenAI services there anymore anyway. My node is connected directly to OpenAI and I don't make any money. You will just be charged whatever you use there. But if you like my work and would like to support what I do, you can find more information about me on my coffee page. I wish you a great day and don't forget to have fun.